we can think silently about those that um, are no longer with us. At Saturday's respect ride, more than 100 bicyclists gathered and rode to remember those riders killed on local roads. Riders like Jimmy Westmoreland, killed while riding this past July. He was uh, riding on Ocean Boulevard and a motorist pulled out in front of him and, and Jimmy was unable to avoid him and there was a, an incident and he went over the handlebars and crashed and, and unfortunately passed away a couple days later. Police say Jimmy died from blunt force trauma to the head. He was 75 years old. As a cyclist, you looked at him and said, you know, wow, when I'm 70 years old, I want to do the things that he's doing. And so in that way, he was, he was an inspiration to all of us. The respect ride stopped here at 55th Avenue and Ocean Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, near where Jimmy was killed, for a moment of silence and to say a prayer for all those lives lost. And God, as we think on them and we think of their families, whether they were 70 years old or a foreign student from a faraway land, and I ask for your blessing upon this city, upon our country, and upon these families, Lord. Amen. Organizers say the six-mile round trip was also about raising safety awareness for both cyclists and motorists. It's safety is an issue for all of us riding, so we wanted to make it safer for us to ride. So one of the first things we need to do is educate riders on the right way, right way to ride, and that's our most important goal, I think. And the riders say if Jimmy Westmoreland had been here to be a part of the ride, he'd have been right in front, leading the way. In Myrtle Beach, Mark Liverman, WPDE, News Channel 15. Thank you, Russell Hudson and his family for